guys and welcome once again to Martin Lynch and Sons YouTube video channel and today we're going to be looking at the um, the, the Kiwi SDR and BeagleBone and what is this well this is actually a network attached um, SDR uh, solution um, comes with um, a GPS port um, for a GPS antenna which is supplied in the kit um, there you go one of those um, and it has its own supply via the same the, the same port, uh, 3.3 volts. Um, the um, the main Kiwi board is um, HF. It covers, I think, um, right the way from sort of low frequency right the way up to about 30 uh, megahertz, um, 32 possibly um, if you if you tweak the uh, the software. Um, it's all accessed via your um, your web browser. Um, which will this is I'll, I'll maybe put some footage of that at the end of this uh, the video show you how to connect to it um, or I may do these in two separate videos I'm, I'm not sure at the moment so um, bear with me um, yeah so it's all accessed via your um, your web browser and you you essentially just search you, you put in the address bar it's uh, kiwi sdr dot local colon um, 8073 um, for the for the actual uh, main program um, and if you want to get into the admin and maybe see some of the GPS results um, or the, the uh, um, positioning then if you do the same address so that's kiwi str dot local colon 8073 forward slash admin um, that will then take you to the admin page where you can do some setup. You can apply passwords and stuff like that to the, the web um, access to this. And this brings me on actually to the, the, the best thing about these. This is a kind of a community project. And from what I can see so far is that when you get one of these, you can actually share access to it. And I, I believe you can have up to four users per, per device. So all around the, the world, there are these little boxes and you're able to get access to them um, via you know if you want to do that you need to open a port up to the um, to the internet um, and then of you know obviously assigned to this address um, and you know um, so that that kind of means then that people can um, then so jump on your thing you can have up to four users I think there is a bit of a, um, a reduced bandwidth per user um, the more you get on, but you know that that's neither here nor there. Um, it's just great fun. It's it's a really interesting little project. Um, as I say, you've uh, you've got uh, the the basics. You've actually got like a the the Ethernet port. You've actually got a USB port there, and you've got the the power which is supplied with this with a DC five uh, five millimeter DC um, type plug. Um, as I say, I think we covered this um, on the back there. You've got the BeagleBone board and you've got an, um, an SD card slot. Um, don't make the same mistake I did. Your SD card is for emergencies only. Um, keep the SD card safe in, in the box. You do not need to, to put it in the uh, in the device. Um, it's pre-installed. Okay, so uh, unlike um, a Raspberry Pi, this actually you you take a card and it installs the software onto the beagle board um or the the beagle bone um, and then you remove the card okay so it's all of the information that this needs to run is already pre-installed on the board don't install the sd card no you know no matter what i made that mistake i installed the the sd card and it completely ruined the the device and uh, i had to reflash it all and start afresh um and you know that was a bit of a pain so this is the Kiwi SDR, and we have these in stock. Um, give us a give us a shout, um, and uh, if you want to, please email me uh, Gary at, at uh, HamRadio.co.uk. Um, I'd love to answer your questions um, if you have any, um, or if you have any suggestions for the future. If you've got any any products that you want us to to go and have a look at, then uh, then by all means, um, I'm going to follow this up uh, probably later on um, with a with a, a bit of a sneak preview of the new um, DV4 Mini Ambi um, uh, uh, stick that's uh, just due out um, anytime soon. Um, we are taking pre-orders for those now. Um, so, you know, with, with, with any luck, they should be with us uh, shortly. Um, please, uh, um, as I say, email me at, at uh, gary at hamradio.co.uk or you can leave comments. It's entirely up to you. Um, 
Brilliant. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll try and follow this up with some actual footage of the the software running. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>